where, where was your where was your um where was your upbringing like like as far as you had your mom, your dad, had, yo, listen, you know your brothers, siblings, and all yeah. that. Like where it was at when you, when, you, you, well, when you was getting in trouble like this, like my, your mom's. My father, like my father, was the ultimate Puerto Rican. Uh, I'm talking, when I say the ultimate Puerto Rican, I'm talking about with the tail, three earrings, five hundred thousand tattoos, never wore a shirt, <laughs> like. Played handball all day, Newports, and when he did have a shirt, Newports right here or Newports right here on the yeah. side. So he was just like, my mother was the exact opposite. My mother didn't understand street life at all. Like I, I tell you like this, before my pops died, he got to see my very first global historic record, which was Super Thug. Mm. And when he saw it on TV, he had to come up to me and grab me. He was like, I'm so sorry, Papito. And I, and I said, why are you sorry? He said, I thought you was lying the whole time. <laughs> like, he thought I was lying being a rapper. He thought I was going to be a piece of shit. Yeah, he, he thought you was on a whole different path. <laughs> so, so around moms, he was fronting like he really believed I was yeah, a rapper. Yeah. But he didn't believe me this whole time. So it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was hard. He was just going with it. He was just going with it. <laughs> when he actually saw me on TV, he grabbed, because my father was an affection. He was not an affectionate guy. Because it was like the first time he hugged and hugged me. So he went and let me go, and he's like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, why? And he's like, I, you know, I thought you would be a piece of shit the rest of your life. Wow. I didn't think you would, you know, he's like, you're my son, so I can say this to you. Uh, he wasn't a great kid. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, shit, you was busted.